In the previous video, we could see how the horizontal and vertical alignment for a road axis can be defined. In this video, I would like to show you how road templates can be created and administrated, which are about to be assigned to the road axis in the next step. In Alplan Road Design, all templates for modeling and drawing output are administrated in one place, the Road Project Manager. Here we can define the template for the land requirement, which defines the calculation boundaries for the road structure. In the cross-section templates, we can define the standard configuration of our road structure. Here we can define all parameters for the central reserve, for the main carriageway and for additional lanes. Besides the parameters for the lane width and vertical breaks, we can also set road layer templates that define the layer structure of our road. For additional lanes, the superelevation property is directly defined in this template. It is possible to add up to six additional lanes to the standard cross section. In the roadside templates, all parameters for the surrounding structure of the road body can be defined. We can set the values for the shoulder width and the shoulder slope, also for the slope at the cut and fill side, the parameters for the creation of a ditch and the condition if a ditch should be created. This condition parameter is also relevant for the creation of walls or the intermediate reservation for a slope. In the road layer templates, we define the standard thickness of the road layers as well as the layer material that is then assigned to the cross section templates in the next step. It is possible to define up to six road layers. In the subbase template, all parameters for the substructure of our road are defined. These are the minimum thickness of the road, the excavation angle, and the turn off point of the subbase. Besides the modeling templates, also, the drawing output templates are administrated in the Road Project Manager. Here, the templates for the longitudinal section drawing with certain components can be set. It is possible to select predefined templates that are delivered with a version. For the longitudinal section drawings, we support several templates with different scale factors. As always, we can add additional drawing templates with the right mouse click navigation. The drawing templates for longitudinal and cross-section drawings are strictly separated into tabular and graphics components. The tabular components can be added by clicking on the drawing templates entry all graphics part components can be added by clicking on the dedicated graphics part entry. Once the templates are created, they can of course be reused multiple times. Besides the drawing output templates, also report templates are administrated in this dialog. Frequently used templates can easily be exchanged between projects. Therefore, we use the favorites command and select the templates that should be exported or imported. With the import button, we can select the JSON file that was generated from another project. After importing these 
configurations, they are directly accessible in the project manager and can be selected for further detailing.